Hi, I'm Jen from Vancouver Island Car Seat Techs. In this video, I'll show you how to install a rear-facing infant child seat and how to alter the angle, if needed or required, by your particular seat. There are a few ways to do that. A few steps you need to know ahead of time. Read your manual to know what, if any, rules on your seat um, will apply regarding your child's age, weight, uh, developmental milestones such as head control. Um, you need to know how you're installing the seat, whether it's with lower anchors or seat belt. We're not going to go over that in detail. This video will focus on once you have established that, exactly how to alter the recon angle. So I'm going to install with lower anchors. Right now, I'm just positioning the seat, the, the car seat, on the vehicle seat to get a sense of how it will install without anything. So looking at my recline indicator, and this will vary depending on your seat, it's right in the mid-range, which is fine for an older child who um, is not a newborn, who has some head control. Um, when looking at this type of indicator, it's important you're parked on flat ground because, of course, it's gravity dependent. So if I was installing it for a newborn, and this particular seat does fit from birth, it needs to be more reclined. I want it as reclined as possible while still being in the allowable range. So I need to lean it back a little bit farther. So how I'm going to do that, there are a few ways. Loosen this off. Some seats, you can just, if you have particularly squishy upholstery, you can just shimmy the seat and then tighten it down. And sometimes it'll stay. And it is a bit of trial and error to know that. If I can wedge the front edge of the car seat against my vehicle seat, and if I can get it to stay at that angle, that's a little bit too upright, so I might want to wiggle it a bit more. That looks pretty good there. That might not work if you have firm upholstery, if it's just not physically working by the geometry of your seats. Then, again, if your car seat allows it, and to know you would read your manual, you can use a piece of foam noodle such as this, the couple different sizes here depending on the vehicle Sl the slope of the vehicle seat. There's one is not preferred, it's just depending on what you need. If neither of those are enough, you can tape three together. Two doesn't really do anything. Um, you really need three for a stable pyramid and duct tape to maintain that position. So based on how much I think I'm going to need, I'm going to try this one here and it goes only at the seat bite, right up at the front. I will need to compress it a little bit because right now it's over reclined looking at my indicator here. Uh, the ball is not all the way in the green so I need to compress at the front a little bit. So as I'm tightening the seat down because I need to squish that noodle a bit I'm going to push at the front edge of the seat like this and then check my angle. and. That's pretty close. I would compress it a little bit more to get it all the way fully in the green like that, or I could use a smaller noodle. If you had very slopey seats, again, you could use something like this that's just a little bit of a bigger prop there. If you don't have a pool noodle, or if your particular car seat manual suggests you use a rolled towel instead of a noodle, um, any old towel will do. It takes a bit of experimenting with the size, thickness, how exactly you're going to roll it. but. May I have the yellow towel, please? Thank you. May I have the pink towel, please? Thank you. Two different towels uh, rolled to different diameters. Tape them for stability once you have established the exact size you need. You don't want them very wide. About 10, 11 inches is about the maximum. And you're going to do the same thing as with the noodle. You're going to put it under there. And then when you install the seat, it's compressing down, but giving that, giving that support at the front there so that the seat reclines appropriately. So that's for a newborn. If we want to get, if you want to get the seat more upright, then we need it something like something like that. So that's a little more upright than it will install naturally. So again, where you compress on the, via on the car seat as you install it is going to affect that angle. 
If you compress at the bum area, it's going to help to tighten it down, but it's not going to change the angle much. If you compress at the foot, as you, as you tighten it up, it's going to make it, it's going to make it more upright. And not quite upright enough, so if I wanted to affect that more, I might shimmy it a bit and then tighten it down to make sure it's going to stay put. And there we go. I could work it a little bit more to get it a tiny bit more upright as well. The important thing is to follow exactly the indicator on your seat. This is just one style of many different options.